Hello guys, what's going on? So I'm back here for another video and today we're doing a brief announcement video and just wanted to clear up some things and explain some things going forward so yeah, you can enjoy the video in the background I just pre-recorded some content from Mindplex playing on build or speed builders and then playing some uh, Dragon Escape so I don't know how long the footage is going to last but I recorded enough to try and get this announcement video going so, you probably have been wondering, and I know I've gotten a couple comments asking where the videos have been for the past few months, and I can explain that it's been a little bit hectic going on around here, mainly because I've been going on different types of trips, and I've been dealing with some family things, and I wanted to spend time with family, and I also have schoolwork to get done and things like that that I really haven't had the most amount of time to get videos recorded and up for you guys so I just decided to take a little break from it and get it going and with that being said I'm going to continue taking a break from YouTube I just really haven't had the motivation to get going and get making videos I do have games on there that are on Steam that I could make videos out of but I'm not getting a lot of views and a lot of attention so I'm kinda just looking to take a break from YouTube for a while and just focus on other things one of those big things is schoolwork that I'm going into my next semester of college this week and it's going to be a, another transition and it's going to be a lot of work involved so I'm not gonna have time and I'm not taking my desktop computer to college with me so I'm not going to be able to upload videos while I'm there well gaming related videos but the thing I want to talk about is I'm going to be spending most of my time working on Minecraft servers and in particular I am with one right now that I've been with for the last few weeks called Zion Network and currently it's not really ready to be a server yet but we are making it into a network so what Zion is going to be is a medieval fallen kingdom type of theme where we have a once great kingdom fell under anarchy when the king died the queen left and then the children that were left branched off into their own kingdoms and formed them on their own beliefs so like wisdom or power and stuff like that so that's kind of the theme we're going with the server but the server overall is going to be a lot of custom coded stuff we don't want to be just your everyday you know faction server or survival server or anything like that we're going to make this server big and we hope that it becomes successful so we're not doing all this time we're not putting in all the time and work to just fail we have a lot of cool things in mind I am the creative director over at Not the Zion Network and so basically what the creative director does is I manage everything that goes on within the game itself whether it be staff whether it be players I manage the builds the themes the plugins, everything that goes on within the server I am in charge of. And I'm working alongside with the owners right now to make this server what I think would be the best thing. Because I've had this idea in my mind of a Fallen Kingdom type of map for a while now, but I've never gotten in, in contact with a server owner that wanted to push forward the idea. And I think this idea is going to work. We're going to have custom games such as Custom Survival, where we're going to have two kingdoms dueling it out. And we're also going to have other things like Custom Factions, Custom Creative, Custom, you know, maybe even advancing forward to like prisons and stuff like that in the future. And we're going to have everything's going to be custom coded to where we're not just your everyday faction server, or your survival server, or anything like that. Another cool aspect we're going to add in is we're going to use Bungie Cord and add in mini games. And we have a couple of, I have a couple of mini games in mind that I want to go forward and make and we're going to have them custom coded as well. We have mini games that you're going to see all over the place like survival games and stuff like that that, you know, our server is going to have. Because why wouldn't you want survival games on your server? But we have a couple of other mini games in mind that I have yet to see done on any other server so I'm gonna keep it a little bit of a secret right now until we can get it pumping but we do have some developers and some builders on actually no we don't and that's why I'm calling you guys today is to see if you are interested in coming along with the ride and working on the next big server that I believe is going to be a great success 
right now we currently only really need builders and developers we need builders because the builds that we have going are going to be giant and you need to have a good background with working with other people as well as you know world edit and building skills to the theme that we have going and right now we have basically one builder maybe plus me so I've been doing all the work I've built the entire spawn for the server myself so I really need more builders on my team in order to get the server going and trust me this is a good way for you because you get to come along and be a part of this great server that we have planned out and be on the staff and you also be rewarded we don't really have money to pay off anybody right now so that's why we're kinda of saying we don't want anybody that's gonna ask for money because we have no income right now and all the money's going towards the server but you do get to build your resume up and get credit on the server so say the server does go big you get to put your name on these builds and assign so everybody gets to see your name and you also get to add these to your resume and your profile so other places can see the kinds of builds that you can do and you can get some job offers and even get paid from them so this is a really good starting point to get seen and get noticed out there for a builder developer wise we like I said we're going to be mostly custom coding everything so in terms of developers we need a ton of them that really know how to code mini games and not just you know like basic develop you know just like making plugins work we're saying actually write the code for these mini games because well my job is I kinda design the mini games and take suggestions from other people and then I tell the, de the head developer hey here's what I'm looking for turn this into the mini game and then the head developer can do it himself or transfer it off to his group of developers and they can create the game so we have a couple awesome games in mind and we're also taking more suggestions as we move along but as we do move along we're going to add new people into the server such as moderators admins youtubers people like that to come on the server and help out the reason the application does have moderators and admins open but the reason I'm saying you might want to wait on applying for that is because the server doesn't have an expected opening date yet and we're not even really close to opening so we do have jobs that moderators and admins can do but you're not going to be on the server at all and you're not really going to be monitoring like, moderators aren't going to be like watching over players because there's really no players because the server is not open yet so we do have things that we can that you can do to help us out but at the same time you're not going to be doing your normal moderator admin stuff until we move further down the line and get things going so if you are interested in applying for a staff position on the server the link to apply will be down below all you gotta do is read the information at the top it's a google form simple you just read the information at the top of the google form then you go through you're gonna have one section that's just your basic information we do ask that you have a discord account you don't have to use the voice chat if you don't have a microphone or you don't feel comfortable talking to other people like you would skype you don't have to use the voice chat but we do want you on there because that's where all of the communication goes through text chat and how all of the different staff branches communicate with each other and that way me and the owners can communicate with all of you as well and we can't be doing that all in game because then it gets chaotic because there's no like specialized system for only chatting with certain people in the game so the chat would get all cluttered and then you'll have players on there eventually so we have it on discord we have private discord servers for all the different staff groups and it's much easier to communicate that way so if you don't have a discord account it's very easy to go sign up for one just go find the discord link just go type in discord on saying google and you can sign up an account and then you can move on from there so once you fill out the first section of the cat or first section of the disc or the google form you're going to see a, the last question to ask what position you're applying for and then when you click on that and press next it will take you to your appropriate section so that you're only answering questions based off of the position you're applying for so that way we don't have people like moderators have to see questions about building so every group has their own section and then you just have to fill out the in information as detailed and thorough as possible we at, we don't need you to be like you know write a 10 page essay on why you should be 
a member of this server, but we do want to see you answer the questions fully and grammatically proper. That way that gives us an idea of like your age and maturity. We don't base people off of their age, gender, ethnicity, or anything like that, but we do want to see that you're mature. We can't have 11 year olds on the server that aren't mature and are just going to goof off the whole time. If you're like, you know, 11, 12, 13, but you're really mature and can handle the position that you're getting, then we will let you on the server because I know there's a lot of young talent out there and this way you can really build your profile up to maybe even work for bigger and better servers in the meantime or stay with us and hopefully the server goes big so you can go from there. So once you fill out the Discord application and send it, it will go to a email for the Zion staff which I run. Once we see the email we will go and check your response and look over your application then you will receive an email from the staff to your email account so make sure you do check your email account because that's the only way we're going to contact you and that will give you saying well I'll, you'll get an email saying you've been declined for this reason and we'll make sure we give you the reasons that we declined you for and not just say oh you're declined end of story or it'll say you're accepted and it'll give you the further steps for continuing on your application which will normally be to go onto this court and message me and then we can continue their, continue your application process. The application doesn't end with a written application. We do need to talk to you through text chat in Discord so you get familiarized with the server and that way we can make sure that you are a mature person and you're able to handle working with us. We only want the best staff for a server. I've seen a lot of a lot of applications of kids that aren't really taking it seriously and really don't have a lot of experience, but we we do want young kids that are mature to come out and apply and we're going to give you a test especially for builders what we do is we ha we give you a build test on the server to make sure that you're able to build to the quality that we are asking for and if you get approved from that then you can go forward and possibly make some great builds with us so I think I've rambled on long enough but that's the gist of it down below you can see the link and you can go fill out the discord application or yeah, yeah fill out it's been a long day. You can go fill out the Google Forms and apply for the server and the, really the next video you might see on the server is if we get closer to opening the server I will post a little trailer video so you can see what kind of stuff is on the server and once we get closer to opening we will announce an opening date and then we can let regular players in but we have a lot of work to do so we're asking anybody who is interested to come on and apply only takes a few minutes to apply and we normally have a speed response time so if you want to be a part of the next big thing I suggest applying now so you can get a spot so anyway guys thanks for watching hope you all enjoyed this little background intro and thanks for the support sorry there's not gonna be a lot of gaming related content but there's a lot of stuff going on in life right now so it's going to be very busy but other than that yeah, thanks for the support and hopefully we continue to grow as a group with more subscribers more lemon heads and we'll be back to the gaming content soon so Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see all of you guys next time.